Belbo, City Council, and College. And more on today's news. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, hot dogs. I'm Ivan. And I'm Yasmin. Mr. Potts' period three class should report to room 223 with Mr. Spension. Then period two, four, and five should report to room 149 with Mr. Nichols. Please bring study materials and your laptop. Today, the college fair will be in Roswell High School at 5.30 to 7, as well as the IUPUI meeting at 9.50 a.m. to meet with the college rep. Student Council will also meet today after school in the collaboration space. For today's lunch, lines 1 and 2, country fried steak, line 3, chicken strips, line 4, breakfast pizza or personal pan pizza, and line 5 is closed. A happy birthday goes out to Luis Lopez Alaniz. Now to your local sports news. Thanks, guys. The volleyball team fell to conference rival Tri-West on Wednesday evening at Case Arena 1-3. Stepping up to fill the setter spot was Morgan Adamson, who had 29 assists and 2 aces for the team. Senior Ashley Timmons led offensively with 15 kills, Chloe Roberts had 13 kills and 16 digs, and Allison Timmons added 7 kills. Macy Starrett had her first front row experience adding 2 kills with 7 digs. The JV also fell to try west. Coming off an elbow injury was Sydney Whitaker with six digs and two kills. Grace Kemble served six six and picked up three digs. Emma Pillion added three assists. Erica Pillion added three digs. And Jazzy Opella had four digs. Emily Hurlis and Kylie Field each picked up a kill. And Erica Stephenson had two kills and three digs. The team travels to Lebanon on Thursday for their third conference match of the season. The boys varsity tennis team will be traveling to face off to face off the Lebanon Tigers at 4.30, Boys Varsity and JV Soccer will have an away game today. They will be traveling to face Crawfordsville at 5.30. The football team will be traveling tomorrow to face against South Mon at 7. The student section team for tomorrow will be blackout. That's it for sports. Good luck to all the teams that are in action tonight. Now on to weather with Ivan. For weather today, hot dogs, it is currently 68 degrees. Today will be mostly cloudy all day. Later this evening, it will be 85 degrees. Another hot day today, as well as tomorrow. Now back to your host. If you are interested in participating in the Battle of the Books and you missed a call-out meeting, you are still allowed to sign up and grab a book list in the library. Sign-up sheets are due to next Tuesday to Miss Willoughby. If you love spelling and want to show off, if you hate spelling and you want to get better at it, if you want something fun to do after school and enjoy free pizza, come to the Spell Bowl team call out on Thursday, September 12th at 2.55 p.m. in room 221. They will need 10 spellers, pizza eaters to feel, feel the team. See or email Mr. Forner if you have any questions. To all senior girls, there is a Distinguished Young Woman of Clayton County Scholarship Program. The call out meeting will be on Sunday, September 22nd at 2.30 p.m. You should meet at the Frankfurt JC cabin. For more information, please stop by at the office for an info sheet. More college reps are visiting FHS. Head to the student services to sign up and check the chatter for more information about the meetings. Wow, I am well informed, are you? I am. That's it for the news. You will see the other hosts tomorrow.